Hello guys, welcome to the HeadX channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to install the Torisio onto this photo flight platform. In the previous tutorials, we've shown you that Torisio flight controller includes the main controller, GC1 and AM1. Then make sure that your photo is repaired. The ESC motors and servos have been installed in place. There's no short circuit in the power supply and the ESC has been calibrated. First, remove all the wings, and this groove is where the flight controller is installed. If you use other flight platform, make sure it is parallel to the plane's horizontal attitude. Connect the PWM124 ESC signal cables of the Mali rotor to the PWM124 output port of the Taurus Seal flight controller. Plug the servo signal cables according to the master easy. Air and left to PWM5, right to PWM6. Elevator left to PWM7, right to PWM8. Connect the fixed wing throttle signal cable to the PWM9. If your model is not included in the model type, you can connect signal cables to PWM output ports, then assign the function of each PWM output in the custom page. Here you may need to make some extension cables, because the wires that come with the servo may be too short. Next, use 3M tape to attach the GC1 module onto the surface. Make sure the arrow on GC1 points to the direction of the nose securely fixed on the surface of the aircraft and connect to CAN1 ports. CAN1 to 1, 1 to 2, 1 to 3 are all available. Connect the AM1 and PITO tube through a hose. And also connect AM1 airspeed meter module to CAN1 ports of the Taurus 2. Here you should pay more attention. Fix the hose but not too tight, otherwise the measurement will be inaccurate. Use the 3M tape to attach the Taurus main body to the bottom board. Connect one end of the power cable to the power port of the main body. The other end of power cable to the XC30 port. Voltage monitoring Voltage 1 monitors the voltage of this interface. You can check the voltage of this interface in the ground control software. Finally, connect data link to the link port of the main controller. Tarasu installation is now complete. Now connect the data link to the computer. Run the space V3D ground control software and master easy. It's necessary to set some installation parameters before the flight. First, select the corresponding installation angle according to the XY coordinates on Charleston main controller. Upload it. Then come to the GNSS antennas page. You need to fill in XYZ parameters to calibrate the position of GC1. On the X axis of the aircraft, the forward direction of the Taurus 2 is positive, and the backward direction is negative. Now I measure that GC1 is 10 cm behind the flight controller, so set minus 0.1 here. On the Y axis of the aircraft, the right side of the Taurus is positive, and the left side of the Taurus is negative, so there is zero. On vertical axis, the direction below the flight controller is positive. The upper direction of the Taurus is negative, so I fill in minus 0.05 here. Upload these parameters. In X control page, 
you should select a corresponding layout type. This one is for my photo. Upload it. If your flight platform is not included in these six types, click this custom options to configure the function of each PWM servo and come to the allocation page. The unlock pops width of PWM124 temporarily use the default value PWM5 left iterin. Slide to unlock and drag the slider. The left iterin surface will move accordingly. Adjust this surface to the neutral position. Click the set to mid button. Then adjust the surface to the highest position. For this photo, the spacing is about 2 cm. Set to A. It's the same for the position B. Set to B. Upload. PWM678 is adjusted in the same way. If you find that the direction of movement is opposite, click this reverse button to adjust it. Drag the slider in PWM9 throttle channel. Upload and save the parameters. In basic feature page, the takeoff weight is about 12 kilograms. The stall speed is about 17 kilometers. Set this value according to the actual situation. The cruise speed is about 21 kilometers. Transfer caps means the airspeed when multi rotor is converted to fixed wing. And other parameters use the default parameters. Now the necessary parameters are set. Let's fly outside. During the first test flight, be sure to choose a more open area. And another thing, 
it necessary to perform a campus calibration before the first flight. The campus is a very sensitive instrument. So, a few things to know before we get started. Stay away from obvious magnetic interference sources, such as steel reinforced concrete, other large structures or cars. Do not carry ferromagnetic materials with you, such as keys or jewelry. Remove electronic devices that may interfere with the calibration, like a cell phone or even a watch. Try to stay away from any overhead or underground power lines. And please also remember that you do have to connect to the GPS satellite in order to begin a campus calibration. Now we're ready to start. Run the ground control software and master EC software. I'll follow the on-screen prompts to complete the campus calibration. Make sure that both channel 1 and channel 2 are in path state. If you experience a failed campus calibration, change a location and then try again. And lastly, before you fly, you will need to do your pre-flight checklist, come to the ground station interface, and click the before flight check button in the left side and activate your page. We'll start off by rotating all the motors to ensure that the multi-rotor runs normally. And now, rotate all the servos to ensure that the fixed wing is operating properly. Then in airspeed meter page, to check the airspeed meter state, you may need to perform airspeed meter clearing. Lower the, the aircraft's head. The hub correspondingly displays the pitch angle as the negative value. Let the aircraft roll to the left. The hub correspondingly displays the roll angle as a negative value. When the drone moves up, the hub direction value will be displayed correspondingly. Complete the pre-flight inspection as above. On the flight preference page, the multi-rotor climbing height is 15 meters. The fixed wing climbing height is 50 meters. It means that the aircraft climbs vertically to 15 meters in multi-rotor mode, then converts to the fixed wing. After climbing to 15 meters in fixed wing mode, it will automatically enter the homing point and hovering. Before taking it off, we need to plan a home point and landing route. Double click the takeoff button. Double-click the landing button and the landing route. We hope this video gave you a little bit better understanding as to how Taurus 2 works. And enjoy your flights! Thank you for watching. See you in next video.